Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I know it's been a while. I've been like very unmotivated and had like no ideas the past few weeks plus school started so it's been really chaotic but I was sitting on my couch today and I was like I had a really good idea. So today we're going to be turning my like pretty like aesthetic cottage core not really vibes I don't know room <laughs> into like a Halloween themed room. And we're gonna do all of this through DIY, so I'm gonna bring it all along with me. Yee! Let's go. So the first thing I wanna do is I have these um, faux leaves here, and I'm thinking that I still have a lot, so I might like take the other kinds that have this, paint them a different color, replace them, and then I wanna make little bats instead of butterflies. That's what they're called. Almost forgot what they're called. Yeah, so there's gonna be little bats hanging among the leaves. Is that weird? Kind of, but it's gonna be okay. A while ago, I organized this closet, but it's kind of gone back to being a mess. So I'm gonna have to dig through here to find the things that I'm looking for. Um, yeah. Found it. Okay, and then there's also some things in here that I can use too. I have, I don't know if I'm gonna use them, but I have this um, shadow box. We also have, this cool speaker that Little Sparkles got me a while ago. All right, so for the first DIY, um, if you wanna do this, I don't know if y'all are watching this for entertainment or for ideas, but if you wanna do this, you can order these on Amazon. I got this huge pack, and I think this is actually for like weddings, but I just bought it for decor. Um, and it just comes in like cool strands and you can like do whatever you want with them. So I just have this huge pile of it and I'm going to separate them and then I think I'm gonna go and spray paint them we'll see what colors we have i'm not sure yet so i don't really know what's gonna happen but I, that's my plan as of right now i'm out here in the shop now so that we can spray paint i'm going to be using parchment paper to put it on uh this is just handy because you can just roll it back up and throw it away them on there because I don't care if there is some green I think it'll like give it some character if it's like kind of all over the place I'm gonna end up doing gray I think now we wait for the bats DIY, I decided I would cut some time out of like the process and just take a Pixart sticker and copy and paste it on a sheet of paper so I could just like not have to draw it. You can draw it if you want to, but I thought this would be easier. So I printed it out, there's eight on this sheet and I'm just gonna cut them and then we'll put string through them so that we can hang them from the ceiling. And I'll show y'all that in a second. All of the bats are cut out now. This took like forever. So I don't know which way would have took longer drawing them or printing them, but I I finished them. This is what it looks like. They're super cute and little. That's them compared to my hand. The next thing we're going to do is take a needle and some thread and you're going to put the needle through one wing and then through the other and it's going to be like this. I'm not really good at um, giving instructions so if you want like a more in-depth like detailed instruction on this go check out the butterfly ones that a lot of people made on like tiktok and stuff those would probably be more helpful the next thing i'm going to do is take down this garland and i think i'm going to print out different like halloween prints that i like or quote and just do like a few different uh things on the wall. I think that'll just be cute because this wall changes pretty often and it'll be easy to just take down once Halloween and fall is over. Here are the prints that I chose from Pinterest. Um, I just kind of picked out ones I liked. They're really random so I don't know if it's gonna look super good but I think it's kind of funny that there's a black cat in every single one. As you can probably tell I'm a cat person. I also printed out some black and white prints like pattern kind of things and I'm gonna try to make spider webs out of this. I saw something like this on Pinterest and it's basically the same concept that you would do to make like a snowflake out of paper. So yeah, I think this will be cool and like trippy looking. 
so um i tried it it does not look like a spider web at all okay that was a flop the leaves are finally done and i had to do like three coats on them it took a little while but here is what the leaves look like originally like how light it is and this are them now i actually this these are them now um i actually really like how they turned out i think if people don't watch the video they won't really understand the concept i'm going for and they think i just like wanted darker leaves but i think it just looks cool and like eerie and creepy kind of i don't know I like them, so we're gonna put them up now. So here's what it looks like. I promise it looks better in real life. Like, it looks kind of wonky on screen, but in real life it looks like really cool and like jungle-esque. Um, I don't really know where I was going with it. I just tried to like connect them all into this weird like vine thingy. And now we're gonna put up the bats and I think it's gonna look so cute. I'm really excited. It's all tangled. Well, that's what it looks like. Um, You can't even really see them on camera, but they're up there. They look cooler when you're like laying in bed because then you just see all the little bats floating above you. I think that's so cute look as for this wall she she's struggling a bit um i found these fairy lights that have like clips on them i thought that would be cute but it kind of looks like that wall that like the art teacher has in elementary school that you like put little kids art on that's what it reminds me of so we're gonna need to figure that out Another quick DIY that I did off camera is I took these old um, candle holders that my mom was going to donate and I put hot glue on them and painted it red so it kind of looks like blood. I don't know. I like how they turned out. There's three of them and they look really cute and I will not be using them to actually like um, burn a candle but I think they're like just a cool touch to add to the room. I figured out how to make them so I'm going to give y'all a quick tutorial so that if you want to make these you can too it's pretty simple i'm not doing any like sort of um measuring or anything i'm just sort of cutting it to make it like a oval circle shape it doesn't have to be perfect this is what mine looks like and then you're gonna fold it whichever way you want actually it's just like in half and then in half again so it's like almost a triangle it looks kind of like a snow cone holder and then you're going to fold it one more time. Now, since mine's not a perfect circle, it's going to look like that, where it's like all uneven. So you're going to, where that side is, you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut like a, a little bit of a U. And the deeper you go, the more it'll look like a spider web. So like that. Okay. And then the side with all of the folds is where you're going to start creating lines this is what it looks like before you unfold it you can do as many as you want as thick as you want as thin as you want and then you're gonna unfold it and it's gonna look like this so super cute um yeah i like it i like the way they turned out they're definitely like a very homemade looking decoration but i mean that's what we're going for in this video so yeah i think i'm gonna splatter these with black paint but you can do whatever you want to decorate them. It's all up for your own interpretation. Now it is time for a final reveal. I am very excited about it. It's kind of subtle, but at the same time, I'm really happy with how it turned out. This took me all day, guys. Like, literally all day. So, y'all better appreciate this video. What is my hair doing? Goodness. Anyways, I'm so excited. I love it. And I'm so excited for Halloween. Yeah, so first of all, this is what you see when you walk in. I changed the picture frame right there to a black one. Um, cute. Then over here we have, I kept this. It's growing on me. I like it a little bit. It's kind of random. And then under that 
is the maybe i should go this way hold on that's better um under this thingy we have the like blood candle holder thingies i actually really love how those turned out they're really cool looking um then there's the speaker there's me i just put this flower on there i don't know thought i added a touch down here i covered that bench with this scarf that i had I don't know, it's wonky. Anyways, walk over here. I put some of the plant on the swing just because I thought, I don't know, it's cute. Um, So over here is the doors and the little spider webs turned out really cute and they're all over the room. So I like that. And then here's the mirror. There's another spider web. Over here, which is my favorite part that I did, we have the pretty branches and the bats. And then down here, Actually, this is probably my favorite part just because it's so random, but I took the shadow box and I turned it into the book from Hocus Pocus. I watched that last night, so I don't know. I thought it was cool. And then this way we have another web and I didn't do anything over here, but I did put some webs. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I enjoyed making it. It was a whole process. So you better like it. You better comment. Just kidding. It would be very appreciated if you did. I love you guys so much. I hope you have a wonderful Halloween. I hope you have a wonderful evening, morning, day, whatever. Bye guys.